If you experience the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, tremor, or dystonia, you may have heard about deep brain stimulation, or DBS, as a way to control those symptoms. But what is DBS? DBS is brain surgery used to treat muscle movement problems from these conditions. It is not a cure and will not stop symptoms from getting worse, but for many people, it can improve symptoms like stiffness, slowness, tremors, and other abnormal involuntary movements. A surgeon places a thin wire called a lead deep into the movement centers of the brain and connects it to a battery implanted in the chest. This battery generates an electrical impulse that interrupts the abnormal signals caused by your movement disorder. Placement of the lead depends on which movement disorder you have, what current evidence recommends, your personal symptoms, and what you're looking to improve. The battery extension wire and lead are all hidden under the skin. Due to research advances, there are now three device manufacturers to choose from. At mHealth Fairview, we offer all three DBS systems. Your team can help you decide what's best for you. However, if you have dystonia, there is only one system approved for use by the FDA. Now that you know what DBS is, let's discuss the potential benefits of this surgery. DBS may be able to help you move more easily, reduce medicine doses, improve tremor, slowness, and stiffness, reduce motor fluctuations and dyskinesias in Parkinson's disease, reduce tremor in essential tremor, and reduce painful muscle contractions in dystonia. Let's talk about DBS benefits for Parkinson's disease. If you have Parkinson's disease, you will most likely benefit from DBS. If you see a benefit from carbidopa levodopa, or what we call Cinemet, patients often see four to six more hours of what we call on time during the day, which is really pretty significant. DBS is also considered for those whose symptoms go up and down with their medications. It provides more even, steady control. DBS can also be very helpful for tremor, even if the Parkinson's medications don't help. Most Parkinson's DBS surgical candidates have had Parkinson's disease for at least four years. Dystonia is a movement disorder with sustained or repetitive muscle contractions that usually result in a twisting or abnormal fixed posture. It can sometimes look like a tremor and can spread to other muscle groups. DBS is very good at controlling dystonia when it occurs by itself and also when it occurs in Parkinson's due to wearing off of medications, for example, toe curling and cramping. It's important to know that DBS may not get rid of tremors, but will most likely improve them greatly. DBS is best for suppressing tremors further from the trunk and neck. Think hands and feet. Now that you know what DBS can do, it is important to know what it will not do. It will not cure the movement disorder. It will not stop the progression of the disease. It usually will not improve speech. And again, it's not likely to improve your balance if medication does not improve your balance. If it does, then it can. It may not improve your gait, but again, if medication improves it, then it can improve it. Most importantly, the goal of DBS is to help you have a better quality of life. Some movement disorders get worse over time. And while DBS will not stop that from happening, it will continue working as long as it remains in your body. While DBS is a great way for many people to control their movement disorders, it is not for everyone. By thoroughly appraising your situation, your mHealth Fairview care team will help decide if DBS surgery is an option for you. To determine this, you'll go through some evaluations. This is referred to as a DBS workup. During these tests, you'll have an MRI, meet with a neurosurgeon, a neurologist, a neuropsychologist, and have your symptoms measured. If you have Parkinson's, they will be measured with and without medication. As for any surgery, we need you to know about your general health. Do you have diabetes or high blood pressure? If so, is it under control? Do you have heart problems, like an irregular heart rhythm that requires you to take medications? If you have any questions about being physically able to tolerate the surgery, discuss those with your neurosurgeon. During your neurosurgery appointment, we'll review your symptoms and take a detailed medical history. The surgeon will describe the DBS surgery in detail so you will know what to expect, as well as the risks. This is also when you will talk about your specific goals and expectations and ask any questions. During the neurology appointment, 
We will look closely at your movement disorder, ensuring that the diagnosis is appropriate for DBS surgery. Also, we evaluate other factors that affect whether the surgery would help you. A neurology provider will videotape a formal measurement of your movement disorder symptoms using a standard scale. If you have Parkinson's, we will test your movements first off your Parkinson's medications and then on your medications. Therefore, if you have Parkinson's, we'll ask that you come to your appointment off of your Parkinson's medications. This will allow us to see your symptoms at their worst. We will provide you with detailed instructions about when and what medications you will need to stop and what to bring to the clinic for the testing. About halfway through the appointment, we'll ask you to take your Parkinson's medications to see how your symptoms change. After your medications start to work, we'll test your movements again. This information helps us to predict if DBS will also help your symptoms. If you have a central tremor or dystonia, we'll also evaluate your symptoms using standard rating scales. Like those with Parkinson's, we may ask that you come to the meeting off your tremor medication and perform a series of tasks such as writing, drawing, and pouring water. The neuropsychological evaluation looks at the functioning of your memory, thinking, and mood. We want to be sure that you don't have problems in those areas because your brain surgery can make those problems worse. Sometimes, if there are problems, they can be improved before surgery in order to improve chances of a good outcome. DVS is approximately four to six hours of surgery, of which most of the time you are awake. We want to know if you have uncontrolled anxiety or claustrophobia, which could prevent you from tolerating the surgery. We may be able to recommend therapies to help you manage this. During your neuropsychological evaluation, you'll go through a series of non-invasive tests. Some of these tests will be done with a pen and paper, some verbal, and others performed on a computer. Tests will cover everything from attention and memory to problem solving to motor and emotional functioning. The evaluation will last about four hours. If you do have DBS surgery, the same test will be repeated a year after the lead is placed. You may bring a family member with you during the evaluation. They can take notes or ask additional questions. The neuropsychological evaluation will include attention and memory, reasoning and problem solving, visual, spatial functions, language functions, sensory perceptual functions, motor functions, academic skills, emotional functioning. You've more than likely heard of an MRI. An MRI uses a strong magnet and radio waves to look inside your body. At mHealth Fairview, we do a three Tesla MRI of the brain as part of the DBS workup. Tesla refers to the strength of the magnet. Three Tesla allows us to receive more detailed images of your brain, which we'll use for mapping and targeting the area where the neurosurgeon place the lead during your surgery. Before the MRI, the technician will inject a contrast dye through an IV in your arm. Let your care team know if you have an allergy to contrast. If you are claustrophobic, we can give you medicine to help you relax. If you have another implanted device, please let your team know the make and model of it. If you are a candidate for DBS, you will have the opportunity to have a seven Tesla MRI, which gives even more detail of the brain to the neurosurgeon. After you go through your DBS workup, your DBS care team will meet to discuss your case. To make the determination of whether or not you are a candidate for DBS, we want to know, do the benefits outweigh the risks for you? Do you have realistic goals and expectations? Do you have people around you to care for you? Do we need any more information? Which system best suits your needs? If DBS is not right for you, there may be alternative treatments. So who does DBS surgery work best for? DBS works great for patients with Parkinson's disease if you've had the disease for at least four years, your symptoms aren't well controlled with medicine, you can't tolerate Parkinson's medications, or your medicine gives you uncontrolled movements. It's also important that you don't have some other condition that resembles Parkinson's disease but really isn't. It also works well for patients with tremor if the tremor is in the hands, arms, or legs. It does not work as well for tremor of the head or voice. It is harder to get relief of DBS when the tremor is closer to the neck and torso. Easier if it is farther out, like the wrist and the fingers. Successful DBS surgery depends on the right patient is chosen for the surgery. This is the reason for the DBS workup. The patient has realistic expectations. 
you should know what it can and cannot do. The lead is placed in the right location. Our surgeons, doctors who map the lead location, and imaging technicians are very experienced at this. The DBS system is programmed correctly. Our nurses and doctors are very experienced at this as well. Now that we know who DBS works best for, let's go over your goals and expectations. What are your goals and expectations for DBS? Having clear and realistic goals is essential before surgery and your care team wants to know what they are. This is not a time to be vague, be specific. Instead of having a general goal of wanting your life to be better, focus on a realistic, measurable goal. Are you an oil painter? Tell them you want to be able to paint again. If you're a woodworker, tell them that you want to be able to build things again. If you can accomplish what you had hoped to achieve from the surgery, we will know we have met the goal. Beyond setting specific goals, you should surround yourself with a great social support system of family and friends who will help you achieve them. You should also plan on at least two to four programming sessions before you're at your best. Also, it can take time for symptoms like stiffness, slowness, and painful dystonia to improve. It's different for different people, but three months is a typical amount of time for the stimulator to be adjusted for best improvement of your symptoms. Once your system is optimally adjusted, we will want to see you back at least every 12 months throughout your lifetime to check that your DBS system is working properly. This is a long journey, one we get to take together. Now that you have clear expectations about DBS, let's cover what happens in the actual surgery. 